So we haven't heard from Jake Tapper in a while, so let's see what he has to say about all this. Jake Tapper. (laughs) (laughs) Hi, Jake. It's Jimmy Dore. Oh, hi, Jimmy. It's Jake Tapper. Yeah, I know. I called you. From the lead (laughs) with Jake... (laughs) (laughs) Yes, from the lead with Tapper. Yes, of course. Right. (laughs) How are things over at CNN right now? Well, things are tense. I'm not going to lie. These are uncertain times. That they are, Jake. It's moments like these in American history when everybody, no matter their political affiliation or faith tradition, need to come together and pray for our best interests. Okay. Honestly, the events of today have me and everyone in the CNN newsroom shaken to our core. The events of today, don't you mean yesterday when Iran retaliated for the U.S. assassination of uh, uh, Soleiman by ordering airstrikes on U.S. military base? No. I mean the (laughs) events of today when we learned that no Americans were killed, that this was probably the extent of Iranian retaliation and that war, which seemed so certain for a brief period yesterday, now seems unlikely. Uh, I'm not sure I understand. Okay, Jimmy, I think we have a miscommunication here. Earlier when I kept saying we and us, as in we need to earnestly pray, who did you think I meant? Uh, the American people. Ah, no, I meant us, (laughs) cable news. The prospect of no war with Iran would have devastating, perhaps disastrous consequences. Oh, my God. And right now, my thoughts and prayers go out to our brave men and women in uniform serving in the CNN corporate boardroom. (laughs) (laughs) The uniform of Giorgio Armani. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) These were already uncertain times for us. We had thrown all our resources at covering the impeachment, which worked on our behalf for a while. But once the viewers began to realize that it was meaningless political theater meant to distract the voter base and leaven support for the Democratic Party, the ratings started to dip. Right. Right. Especially in the male 25 to 44 demo, which dropped nearly 7%. That's an important demo, Jake. Gravely important, Jimmy. But then the prospect of war with Iran shot out of the sky. A prospect that would have locked down that demo for months, if not years. Spirits were high. Nobody does war coverage like CNN. It's our bread and butter. It put us on the map. We're the fucking best. (laughs) (laughs) I see. But then this airstrike Really? No Americans killed? (laughs) What what do they miss? What the fuck? (laughs) What do they need me to come over there and aim that shit for them? Because I will. (laughs) (laughs) Don't do that, Jake. (laughs) But seriously, all we can do is our own part. My humble effort today was to close my show with a segment about U.S. servicemen who were maimed in Iraq by weapons supposedly provided by Soleiman, thereby subtly validating Trump's assassination of him and subtly invalidating Iran's retaliation. Hopefully the message was clear. War is good. (laughs) (laughs) Don't worry. (laughs) Don't worry, Jake. Corporate News' ultimately pro-war stance is never lost on those of us who are paying attention. Thanks, Jimmy. I truly appreciate that. I'm just one simple CNNian who is trying to do his part for his employer country. (laughs) His employer country. You're a good boy, Jake. Have yourself a piece of cake, pal. Oh, is it someone's office birthday? 
Is it Belinda in accounting? <laughs> Hey everybody, come see a live Jimmy Dore show. We're going to be in Portland on January 11th and 12th, then Tempe, Sacramento, San Jose, Miami, and a lot more. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for all tickets for all our live shows. And please go to JimmyDoreComedy.com slash join. Become a premium member. We give you tons of extra material every week. Thanks for your support.